And you can see here, actually, you can see the two swans and you can see the snake head at the top and then the lion head on the bottom and their mm -hmm. eyes glow. And then like in, in the book, there's like the eagle is kind of like the third animal. But yeah. I feel like the swans and the eagle, they're kind of like, I mean, they're both birds. That's true. <laughs> they are both birds. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Blank, and I'm the creator of the School for Good and Evil trailers. So the concept of the School for Good and Evil trailer for book six is man versus pen. Do we follow our fate because it's been written, or do we make our own choices? It is up to the viewer's interpretation. What does this pen mean? lion's mane or the story in it. I'm not gonna give out the Easter eggs in the etchings. Uh, people can use their own interpretation of what what they mean. Um, I didn't want it to be... <laughs> this is my friendly helper Romeo. He has been helping me on the project, mostly just uh, pressing control delete on the keyboard. And uh, yes, yes, of course, the butt to the face, that is the move. Okay, and, and he's gone. Okay. I'm home all day with two of my cats, Romeo and Peachy, and they have been helping a lot with the trailer. So I would be sculpting those reliefs with the stylus and then Peachy would come over and just rest her whole body on the hand to make it just a little bit harder for me to, to draw. And then Romeo, he would become a, a cat scarf. He would just jump on my shoulder and then just, you know, rest. So there were two ideas originally for the trailer. One was a video shoot. The whole thing behind this one was like this ring that kind of turns into a crown and, but it was a little bit too Lord of the Rings. So we right, went right. with this idea. So this is the notebook. This is my sketchbook of where I uh, put in all the concepts. So when I started thinking about the engravings, I think the first image that got me really excited about this was the swans. The swans, they started it all. You know, I kind of wanted to go to the beginning. The idea that the swans here are battling each other comes from conflict of ethics, conflict of fate versus free will. It comes back to the swans. The other idea that I was really trying to emphasize was that each portrait of, of the character has a crown above their head. And just to show that um, each one of them could be in charge each one of them could be a king or queen and so I wanted to kind of show that question mark I would say my favorite shot is the blood ink coming from the pen and forming a crown because in fact if you look at slow motion of water it does form this really cool crown the, the other thing is like of how I made the, the blood. The blood goes right here. We can follow it. It's like basically the spline. I had to be like an architect. It's like if, if this was like really a pen, would it go down this like slot down into the nib? Because that's not how like it works in real life. You dip the pen <laughs> into ink or blood. <laughs> yeah. new fountain pen. Yeah. The stylish classic fountain pen is finished in high quality brushed stainless steel with gold accents. And the refill flow system ensures an even supply of ink directly to the nib. But wait, that's not all. So with every trailer, I try to do something very different. Going from the very first one to the very last one, the only thing that really connects them together is the logo. Book two was all video and then book three is like this dark 3D cartoon and then the style of book four uh, trailer was really 2D. These last few trailers is all about like sculpture. Part of me wants to say is like oh I wish that I would have done something cohesive but um kind of don't want to do that. I always want to do something new. Michael Blank, I hope you enjoyed the trailer and I'm super stoked for the book and I hope you are too.